What's up guys, I got a brand new video for you today and today we're looking at the Crane 2S. And this is the upgraded, new, beefy, tweaked version of the Crane 2, which has actually been my favorite gimbal for the last three years. Um, it was the main single handle gimbal I've used and it's been bulletproof, it's been rained on people racing. And so we're gonna take a look at this gimbal. We're gonna be shooting at Evil Empire Studio here in Hamilton. And we're gonna be shooting like a cinematic dance piece with Hannah. And I'm gonna try and balance the C200 on this cause it will handle it. So let's check it out. So the Crane 2S is actually designed for smaller cinema cameras like the Pocket 6K, Panasonic SH-1 and Z cam. But I did get my C200 to balance on it no problem and it's probably because I had a light lens. The Crane 2S has some big upgrades over the old Crane 2 like the axis locking mechanism which actually makes it easier for balancing as well as traveling. I also feel like they've improved motor torque a lot. They haven't really mentioned the capacity but I think it's significantly more than the Crane 2. The lower handle is also made out of carbon fiber which is really nice and it shaves off a ton of weight. And when you twist that handle off there's the same three 18650 batteries that will actually give you a rated run time of 12 hours. They're using a new mounting system on this base plate called flex mount. It makes it really easy to adjust the camera with lever locks instead of twist knobs. And they've also included a second built in base plate to quickly switch the camera into vertical shooting. I'll talk about that in a bit. It has the same familiar button layout and joystick that the Crane 2 has but with a larger display. And now there's also two USB-C ports in the front for a follow focus as well as one in the back for camera control. And I noticed in the list they've added a lot of different cameras to the list which I didn't even know they supported like Blackmagic pocket cameras as well as Zcam. Something else that's really nice is you can go into the menu to motor and set it to auto and it'll auto tune the gimbal to the perfect settings for the weight you have. So we started shooting the video and I wasn't really happy with the lighting. The clouds kind of rolled in, started getting dark and thunderstorms and it just, it was really killing the vibe of the video. I wasn't really happy with how it looked. We kind of stopped shooting and then out of nowhere, the sun finally came through and it was just one of those moments where everything was perfect. So we decided to reshoot the entire thing. And I also decided to shoot this under slung. I brought the handles with me that actually work for the Crane 2 and it mounted into the Crane 2S perfectly. So it must be the same thickness on the handle. So I locked it in there and we shot the rest of the video under slung. There's just something about the way that the camera feels with gravity or however it is when it's underslung, but I always find it way smoother. Plus with this much weight, it's easier with dual handles. So let's go over some of the modes. This is a pan follow mode. And when I click this in, it goes to follow mode. And then lock, lock is that one. Point of view is this. And then vortex is this so you can spin it and have it set really slow so going over the app it uses the same ZY play app 
And in here we can connect through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi if you're using image transmission. But today we're just gonna connect through Bluetooth so that I can change the settings. In here we can launch the app and see all the parameters in different settings and make our changes to tweak the gimbal. In this app, you can also do things like motion time lapse as well as image transmission if you have the module. My only real complaint about this gimbal and its biggest flaw is that the rear motor still blocks the screen. And if you have a camera that has a rear screen that isn't a flip out screen like the Blackmagic camera, it's gonna be really hard to see what you're shooting. And it's weird because they've solved this with a lot of their other gimbals by going on a 45 degree angle. But maybe they had to do it this way so that they could include this second base plate for allowing you to switch your camera over into vertical mode, which is really nice because before this, you would actually have to get an L bracket and put it on your camera in order to do this. So now that it's built into the gimbal, you can actually switch to vertical shooting for a social media way easier. All right, thanks for watching this video, you guys. As you can see, the Crane 3S handled the C200 no problem. Even though they're not really marketing it towards those types of cameras, it's made for smaller cinema cameras. And I think it's more just to do with the type of lenses that you're gonna be putting on it. They wanna make sure that you have a smaller camera for that. But uh, yeah, thanks to Christoph for letting us shoot at Evil Empire Studio. Uh, thanks to Hannah for sharing her amazing talents in dancing. And also thanks to Francis for shooting behind the scenes. But that's it for me. If you're thinking about getting this gimbal, I'll put a link in the description. Also put their social media links in the description as well if you wanna check them out. And uh, yeah, that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm in the wrong mode. It's gotta be unlocked.